Arizona Senator John McCain may be playing the spoiler for Republican plans to repeal Obamacare. Yeah, tonight, McCain says he cannot support the current Republican plan. ABC's Mary Bruce has the latest on the health care battle on Capitol Hill. It's been just eight weeks since the country watched John McCain walk onto the Senate floor, shocking his own party with this defiant thumbs down. His vote delivering the final blow to the president's attempt to repeal and replace Obamacare. Tonight, with one more chance at a repeal before next week's deadline, John McCain is stunning the party again. Announcing today he cannot, in good conscience, vote for the latest Republican plan. He says a bill of this impact requires a bipartisan approach. McCain might have just killed this new repeal because Republicans can only afford to lose two votes. Rand Paul has already said no. And McCain did this even though his own best friend in the Senate, Lindsey Graham, is one of the architects. I don't expect him to vote because we're friends. I expect him to vote for what he thinks best for the country. The bill would give states more flexibility to craft their own health coverage, but with far less federal funding and with no guarantee of how they would cover Americans with pre-existing existing conditions. Experts say it could leave millions more without insurance. All eyes are now on two key senators. Senator Susan Collins of Maine and Lisa Murkowski of Alaska. Collins tonight is leaning no. I just have to do what I think is right for the people of Maine and for our country. And if, if I don't do that, then I can't look at myself in the mirror. And outside Murkowski's office in Anchorage, protesters camped out, urging her to oppose this bill like she did the last time. I said in January we should not repeal without a replacement and just an indefinite hold on this just creates more chaos and confusion.